Itinerario Turístico con José Antonio López Sosa. Un espacio para conocer los destinos más impresionantes de México y el mundo. Vivimos una experiencia inmersiva, así se llama, de Frida Kahlo aquí en Chicago. Vean ustedes lo que pudimos encontrar aquí en el corazón de la ciudad. En el afamado Lighthouse Art Space hay una experiencia inmersiva de la vida de Frida Kahlo. Esta experiencia es como entrar en un cuadro de Frida Kahlo. De pronto estamos en esta inmersión y vemos, bueno, pues movimiento en el techo, en el piso, en las paredes, música. Y sí, es como estar dentro de, de la obra de Frida Kahlo por un minuto aquí en Chicago. Rafa, pues, ¿qué te parece esta experiencia que nos has traído, nos estás enseñando a Chicago para toda la audiencia de Grupo Fórmula? Estar dentro de un cuadro, ¿no? Dentro de la vida de Frida, estar aquí en este lugar tan emblemático y viendo, pues, un poco de México aquí. Es, es correcto. Eh, eh, muchas gracias por, por aceptar esta invitación y esperamos que muchos eh, amigos mexicanos vengan a visitarla porque es una excelente artista que está ahora en, en Chicago. Y de pronto se oscurece. Inmersión. De pronto se oscurece, de pronto viene la luz otra vez. Pero pues sí es como estar un momentito en la intimidad del artista, ¿no? Exacto. Hay un ambiente muy interesante de obra, de arte, de pintura, la música que también te lleva a un momento. Incluso estábamos viendo que el piso llega a iluminarse también de una manera muy atractiva. Lighthouse Immersive es la empresa que hace este tipo de, de, de experiencias, como tú bien dices, que te lleva adentro de la obra del arte. Y además de Frida, de esta experiencia inmersiva, hay otros artistas, así que vale la pena visitar este lugar. Es correcto, ya viene una exposición de Monet también. Para los que les gusta el impresionismo. El impresionismo. Pero sí es un orgullo ver de pronto a Frida, al maestro Diego Rivera, ver postales de la Ciudad de México aquí en Chicago. Mucha gente de todas partes del mundo viene y es una súper experiencia. Claro, en, en Chicago los mexicanos son bienvenidos desde que llegan a migración, son bienvenidos la la, la gente que está ahí habla español y todo el mundo habla español, entonces es una, una cosa hermosa. Pues la experiencia nos deja ver partes de la vida de Frida y también de Diego, con postales de su infancia, de la Casa Azul, de su obra y de la Ciudad de México. Conversamos con Richard Osounen, parte de la organización de esta experiencia. The, the technology, all the new stops are combined with all this magistry art of Frida Kahlo, and it's a different experience that people can live inside here. I think so. We want to You know, you can go to great art galleries and see Frida's pictures or look at them in a book, but Massimiliano, who put the show together, wanted to give people more of Frida, which is why there's a lot of photographs of her, uh, news photographs, news reels of the times, uh, and also a lot of paintings from Diego, uh, because he was interested in Mexico's history, which was so much a part of Frida. So it's like. It is what we say, an immersive experience. Yes, in, in some places you feel that you are inside the art gallery, inside the picture, inside both lives, because you can see everything in the floor, in the walls, the music, the pictures of Mexico City, of that epoch. It's like a very, very experiential stuff, more than only see a picture in a gallery, as you said. Yes. And it's like a unique thing that you can live here. I think, I think so. It's wonderful the people, you know, because we have this show and we also have a Van Gogh show and the Monet show opening today and, and, and they can all run at the same time and people in Chicago can come and see everything. Uh, Frida touches people's hearts the most, I think, because she was such a brave woman and she suffered so much in her lifetime and she's, I think she's a, I don't want to say a saint, she would be mad at that <laughs> word, but she's an inspiration yeah. for people who have had physical troubles, who have had maybe bad emotional times, who have had all these things that happened to her, but she still went on and painted and made great art. She transformed that all that energy, I don't know how to say bad energy or or bad luck, she transformed it in art. Into art. And now we can we can share with that art here. And it's really different to see a picture in a museum, to see a, a, a TV show with a history of Frida, than be here yes. and live the experience there. I think it's a different experience for oh, people. It is, because you, you can be as close to it as you want. You can walk around, you can see it up or down. Uh, People can stay for additional shows. They can come back and see it again. And you've also got the music 
all around you too. So it, it's, it's trying to give you in like 40 minutes what it felt like to be Frida Kahlo. And it's a lot of investment in technology what you need here because we saw that everything is like perfectly edited for the video, the audio, everything is very well done and it's, it's so hard to make that in an old building, renovated building like this, yes. but it's, it's really amazing and it's a lot of technology needed well, there. Well, it's a wonderful staff, especially here in Chicago. You know, we're in 21 places in North America. This is the most complex. It's this beautiful old building and you can see it in so many places. You have all the little rooms to look and see everything, but that's harder to do. Uh, and it's only because the staff here are wonderful. And like even to the day we're speaking, you wanted to see the Frida Kahlo, so we ran it for you. Right now they're switching to Van Gogh so someone can see it. And then after that, we're going to be doing Monet for a big opening tonight. And you also see other people around because we're testing immersive King Tut, which will be coming later. So now that's what's beautiful about this technology. Once you get it done, you can keep putting in various other shows and various other lives. And every artist uh, uh, at the end when they make pictures, when they make paints, they're trying to communicate something. Yes. But in this experience, you can have that part of communication that probably you could not find only seeing a picture. Right. It's uh, explore. You put all the, the, the tools, the, the technology tools, but at the end, each people that we come here, we can get that communication from different artists, Frida Kahlo, obviously, in our case. And probably that, that communication, it's only possible with an immersion experience. I agree with you. You know, some uh, people say, oh, no, you should only see these pictures in an art gallery. And I agree that if you go to a gallery that has one of Frida's originals and you can stand there and look at it as long as you want, it will penetrate your heart in one way. But if you see this show, you have a bigger understanding of Frida. And I think the idea is you go to see this and then you go back to the art gallery and you have both. You have the knife to the heart and you have the hurricane surrounding you. <laughs> you yeah. yeah, it's a great experience. Congratulations. It really, as, as Mexican, it's really very nice to see this experience, this Frida Kahlo experience here in Chicago. And I think people that come from Mexico should come here because it's a different experience that can, we can make in Mexico visiting the La Casa Absolutely. Azul or the museums that do we have a lot of museums with Frida's art. But this is a different experience. And there are also other artists that we can know here and we can get That's connected it. and we can be part of this uh, electronic art technology. I don't know how to say, yes. but it's very, very innovating. This, this like I was saying to people, you have this beautiful space in a beautiful neighborhood. Keep checking what's here. Keep coming back. It's like, you know, it's not, oh, I saw Van Gogh. <laughs> well, yes, but did you see Frida? Are you going to see Monet? What are you going to keep going to? Because as you know, we keep, it's a beautiful space and we keep adapting it. So they, like right now, the screens on the wall there are about Frida. When we switch to Monet, they'll be the same kind of pictures. Yeah, well, the experience with Monet should be amazing with that impressionist surrounding the, the, all the walls and all the colors. It should be really, but, but really it, nice. Even for example, there, what we do is add the history. People forget where it happened in French history and what was going on and why, why did people need to have joy and liberation and, and the fact that the, these impressionist pictures broke a lot of moral boundaries that had never been broken before. And this can be also educational for kids and for teenagers right. because it's like a historical an art lesson, an art class, but inside and not with a teacher speaking, speaking or reading. So it, having the experience about the history, about the artists, about it's, it's very educative. Oh, I, I agree with you, especially young women coming to see the Frida show will know they are not alone. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's true. She went through this and suffered for this for them so that they can say, I understand. Well, thank you very much for thank receiving you. us. It's a wonderful experience and we invite all Mexicans to come. I hope y you los come. invitamos a que vengan porque es una gran experiencia.